Welcome to this week's Whiteboard Wednesday. My name is Daryl Hyland, Research Lead for IoT Technology here at Rapid7. Today we're going to be talking about hardware security concepts. So what I'm going to be dealing with here is a couple key pieces. One is dealing with how do we protect flash memory in processors. And also we're going to be talking about how do we protect access into that processor and the flash memory from various other entry points. And the way we do this is often this technology, not often, actually always, this technology has the capability inside processors, CPUs and MCUs, to actually protect the onboard flash memory. And the way this is done with is basically with no readback bits being set on the technology. What does that mean? What it means is these, these devices can actually have a bit set on them to make it possible that the attacker cannot get access to the flash memory. He may be able to write to it, but he will not be able to read this back. And why do I mention this? And the way I do is because a number of times we encounter during testing where these bits are not actually properly set. Now, most vendors want to protect their intellectual property that's actually stored in these devices. So they need to leverage the technology the way it was meant to be leveraged. Turn on the no readback bits so that an attacker cannot read the memory out of the flash, step one. The other one is, how can we gain access via JTAG, SPI, or various other configurations on this device? And it's fairly simple most of the time. Unless the manufacturer decides to properly deploy the technology the way it was meant. And the way they do that is, we can often disable JTAG or SPI via settings within the actual chip. And if not, we can often make it difficult to gain access on the actual circuit board by cutting runs, removing capacitors or resistors. Often this technology utilizes GPIOs for actually configuring JTAGs, UARTs, and, and SPI connections into the chip. So before the technology is deployed, let's take advantage to disable the functionality prior to actually deploying the technology and also make sure that no readback bit is set so that we cannot easily pull your firmware out of your device. That's it for this week's Whiteboard Wednesday. We'll talk to you next week. Thank you.